do kind of look weird at the moment. I accidentally left my mascara on my face. So yeah, so I'm gonna be back real quick because I'm going to take the mascara that is probably left on my face and then we'll get into the video. But of course, of course you gotta first like, leave a comment, subscribe, click the bell so you get notified every single time I post a new video. And also, guess what? We hit a milestone on this channel. I have a hundred subs. I have a hundred subscribers. Yay! 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 All right. Anyways, yes, but we hit a hundred subscribers. Every so yay! Thank you guys so much. Can't wait to hit another milestone. But thank you so much for a hundred subscribers. I'm very grateful. But of course, enough with all the lovey-dovey stuff and all this and that. Let's actually get into the video. So, clean my eyes, be right back, and we'll get started. Okay? Alright. So, I'm back. I walked off the mascara that was left on my face. Now, we can get into the review. And also, yes, if my hair looks weird, I trimmed my hair. Even if it's weird and uneven, I pretty much don't care because it's at a very short length. When it gets a little bit longer, I like to fix you know, the small details because it's a lot more noticeable. Whereas right now, if I put a hat on, no one's going to notice, so, yeah. yeah. But, we're just going to move on. And I think we're going to talk about the face wash first because obviously that'll be the easiest one to talk about. I already like this product. It's a good face wash. There. <laughs> <laughs> Next product. Now we're going to get into the other products that I'll go more into detail about because obviously I use those a lot more than the face wash that I'm not using yet because I still haven't finished the last one. But yeah, let's get more into detail of the other products, okay? Alright, so next we have Eyelash Curler. To be honest, I, for the most part, don't think there's really that much of a difference when it comes to my eyelashes with the eyelash curl. But then again, I've been messing up the way I should be using it. Sometimes it says you should use it before you put on the mascara. And then you wait two minutes after you put on the mascara to put it on. I have done that. It does make my eyes look a little bit more open. And also when I do photos or videos close up to my face, instead of my eyelashes looking like they're pointing down, they do look a little bit more up. They make my cat eyes that I sometimes have look even more cat-like. But I think I need to use it a lot more to kind of really see the difference because since I haven't been using it properly it kind of doesn't <laughs> show the whole purpose even though technically even though I don't do it before I put on my mascara it still looks good it does make my eyes look a lot more wider but I do think it's something that I'm like yeah since I usually don't use an eyelash curler I'm still thinking like oh there's not that much of a difference so oh yeah but I like it. It's a nice rose gold color, so like, it's pretty to look at. So yeah. And now let's get on to the next item. Ooh, okay. Now before I get real quickly into the next item, I forgot to also say why the eyelash curler is in the box, because I'm pretty sure some of you would be like, are you sure you've used it because it's still in the box? The reason it's in the box is so that way you can stand upright versus me having it someplace because have it someplace I might drop it and one time 
I came to my sister's room, and she had an eyelash curler, but it was broken, and when I walked in, I didn't notice it because it was on the floor, and I stepped on it, and I stabbed my foot. So, yeah, that's why I want to have it in the box, because I feel like if I don't have it in the box, and I drop it, it might break, and then one of these days, if I don't pay very close attention to when I drop it, I might stab my foot. So, yeah, that's, yeah. So that's the reason why it's still in the box. And also, see, there's a little story time that you didn't know. But yes, we're going to go into the next product, which is the mascara now. I like this mascara. It does make my eyelashes very more bigger. The only issue I really do have with it is that the tip of it is kind of very big. And also, when you turn to the side, it is kind of big. So it's kind of hard to do it with your um, bottom lashes. So you gotta be very soft and gentle with it. You shouldn't. You gotta be soft and gentle. So you gotta got, kind of like be like tap, 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 tap versus like, oh yeah, let me just go like that because you might accidentally get some mascara on your eye. And of course you don't want that to happen because you don't want to wipe it off again and then do your makeup all over again. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, just be careful because the brush is very big and if you don't believe me, like there's the brush. You see it there. See the brush? It's kind of very big and very wide. So yeah, that's the only thing I have issue with. Other than that, it's fine. So now let's get into the next product, okay? Yay! So here's the second to last products we're gonna talk about, and it's these two lipsticks. Now the red one, I automatically like. It's like another lipstick that I had this one except it's a lot less more shinier than this one this one has a more um matte look to it versus the other one even though that one is a matte lipstick the other one to me quite frankly looks more like a gel than a matte it has the softness of a matte but not the shine of a matte so it kind of makes it seem like it's a matte that is very shiny i need that almost gets to like a gel kind of way so yeah, that's the issue I have with that one, but this one actually does look like a matte. It does have shine, but not too much shine. So it kind of does give that matte look to it versus it looking like a matte and then having like the look of a gel. So yeah. And also it's red. I love red lipstick. So who doesn't love a good red lipstick? So yeah. Now on for this one, this one was one that I was kind of worried about because I ended up looking at the label again and I realized that it said mauve, which is kind of a purplish color. And me, I don't think purple will work for me because I'm not pale and then I'm also not very dark with my skin. So it's something that is like, oh, this is definitely going to be iffy because I'm somewhere in the middle. So yeah, but actually I really like this lipstick, the skin. I mean, not the skin. The color actually kind of almost matches to my natural lip color. And since I like natural makeup, it's actually a win-win for me. Because it only makes my lips look a little bit more darker with a shine to them. So actually, I think I love this. And this might actually be my new favorite. And considering that this was $4.99, <laughs> it's a win-win for me in my situation. But yes, that's it for the lipsticks. So now let's get into the final product, okay? Alright, now we have the final product, which is my face powder. Obviously, I love my face powder. I've been using it ever since I was introduced to it. And I was introduced to, introduced to it my senior year when a friend of mine in one of my classes used it and she told me to try it. I was like, okay, fine, whatever. And apparently, we were both the same shade. So, it looked nice on me. She thought it looked nice on me because you know, took away some of my redness, made my skin look a lot smoother, like how she uses it for. And I liked it ever since, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna start doing this. So yeah, I obviously have been in love with that ever since. So yeah, now, of course, there's nothing much to say about that, but I do think now a little goes a long way because before I used to put a lot on my face. <laughs> But now I'm putting in a little bit more or less, and I don't know if it has to do with the fact that since my long hair is growing, and I have, ooh, and I have very feminine features.
features. I don't know if the long hair puts out those feminine features out a lot more and because of that I don't need to put on as much makeup because it's like the makeup ultimately in the end enhances even those feminine features even more because I used because I think when my head was bald no hair at all I was putting a lot more to kind of bring out those features but I think with the long hair it doesn't require me to put as much because the features are already popping out as it is so me putting little makeup just is enough maybe I don't know if that's how it is if that's how it works but I think that's how it works for me but yeah that's it so let's end this video okay so that was it those were all the products so yeah I don't know how long this video will be if it's 10 minutes or less then I am assuming it's a short video because quite frankly I could go on for hours and hours and hours like literally I could probably do a 10 minute video on just the eyelash curler alone but then that would be an infomercial and I'm not getting paid by Wet n Wild so yeah no also I forgot to say that I should have said that in the beginning of the video this video is not sponsored I bought all these products myself but I just wanted to give you guys a review because obviously if you want affordable makeup that is good why not have someone like me tell you that it's actually good these products are good that they're worth your money so yeah instead of spending a lot of money on more expensive makeup just get yourself some affordable makeup and then there you get the same thing but yeah that was today's video so I hope you guys enjoyed my little review on these products if you want to get some yourself go ahead but like I said this is not sponsored I'm not telling you to get these products because I want you guys to get these products so I can get paid no this is not sponsored this is just my honest review I love these products I like these products I'm probably gonna get more of these products so since I like them maybe you guys will like them like them so yeah that is it that's it for this little review so in the end and leave a like comment subscribe click the bell so you get notified every single time i post a new video but of course that's it for this video and this was d d and diamonds and i'll see you guys in the next one okay bye